Hello, welcome to a series of videos that I am putting together uh, detailing the history of Next Computer Inc. and later Next Software Inc. Um, platforms. We're going to be starting uh, with a look at a certain update to Next Step, which was released in around 1996 or so. Um, a bit of information first uh, for those of you who may or may not be interested. This is currently running um, in VMware Fusion 3 on a black MacBook. Um, this was previously a Next Step 3.3 release before I did the upgrade. Uh, the upgrade is still fairly new to me. Um, it's only about four or so hours old, so I've not had a, a proper chance to explore it fully yet. Um, but anyhow, that's about that and more of the demo. So I'm going to log into NetInfo. Wait for workspace to load up. And here we go. This release is um, it's known as Next Step 4.0, but its actual name is OpenStep 4.0 uh, Preview Release 1, um, otherwise known as Codename Mecca. This was released by Next in 1996. Um, most of the features in this um, are pretty much identical to the later Rhapsody uh, releases and um, some um, obviously explain how, uh, why there are certain features in Mac OS X etc. Alright, so first things first, as you can see the file manager looks an awful lot different to the file manager in uh, regular versions of OpenStep and NextStep. It looks more like the file manager you see in Rhapsody. So obviously you've got the home button, the create new directory, you got your um, uh, compressor, recycle, etc. Um, you've got your finder, which obviously lets you find files. Um, you've got online help if you should you need it. This is an interesting thing about the file manager um, is the drag you have, where you basically, if, if you're in a, if you're in a directory, you can either drag the directory from uh, the the icon view here or you can drag it, if you're in um, icon view, you can drag it that way, or you can even now drag it from here. This drags the directory it's currently in. So in this case, the directory it's currently in is my home directory. Put it onto browse, back to browser view, and go into apps. It should then drag the apps over. There we go, yep. And there you go, I've killed display post script. Brilliant, there we go. All right, the um, layout of the icons is a lot different as well. It's gone from um, the icons being on opposing ends, so um, you'd have the close button by here and the minimize button by here. Um, if I open up a new browser, menu, there we are. You can see that it's gone now to the window is 95, if you know, I call it, where the two are. Uh, annoyingly close together. That's not really the only major change in the interface as you may or may not have noticed, but you've now got this entire tab shelf thing here, basically where you can keep all your well-used applications or your well-used documents or just even as a temporary area to drag files onto while you do I don't know, attachments to email or whatever. Um, you can have multiple, uh, well, as you can see, you can have multiple tabs, but you can have a fair number of tabs, and it's fairly easy to create new tabs. You've got this little thing here with the icon uh, pointing to the right, so you just drag that and drag that into place. And you can drag it again and again and again and again. To get rid of them, it's fairly simple. You just drag one and you drag it the other way until you see the little orange arrow, and bingo, that's gone. Do the same with the other ones as well. As you can see, you can also um, resize the the tabs as well. Oops, didn't quite trash that one. Didn't quite trash that one either. So yeah, you can resize it. Get, add more app icons to it. You can shrink it right the way down. And it will auto size should you want it. However, it doesn't uh, auto size if you then go and click on a new tab 
for the state where it is. Well, that's all well and good. But um, if, you've, and if you've been using um, Next Step or Open Step for any length of time, you're probably used to, or even Window Maker on Linux or Unix or FreeBSD or whatever, you've got to be used to the app icons that dis uh, display along the bottom of the screen. So how do you switch back to a window that's already open? Well, you use the documents. I'll call it, um, actually, I don't know what the hell to call it. I'll, just, I'll call it a stack in honor of uh, the um, MacOS Leopard stacks, and Snow Leopard stacks. Basically, the way it works is each application has, uh, has got its app icon displayed and the window and the status of the window. And what I mean by that is if I load up Edit and create a, a whole new bunch of documents, and then I'd know pick some random ones to type in. Um, so basically, that's now got a whole heap of uh, clean documents and some dirty documents, in other words, documents that need to be saved. So if we go look in documents now, we can see that we've got a heap of untitled rich text files. Um, the majority of them can be just trash because they're not dirty, but here we have ones which are dirty. So we can basically just click on them and let's swap some over. If we go and hide this, we can bring up it again using that way, or I believe you can unhide it using this, yes. This basically shows you um, the same similar kind of things, but rather than displaying what windows are available, it displays what applications are available. And you can switch back to them and it will, it will either restore all the windows if it's hidden or it will at least bring up um, the menu. Now, you can double click on each of these to load up the application, or if you've got the application open, use this to get back to the window. If you single click, it will display what you've clicked on in the viewer. Which is quite cute. You also have um, drag and drop to the extreme here. Um, this drags, I believe, your tabs, the entire configuration. Although I've not verified this, so someone correct me if I'm wrong. Let me just uh, quickly test it. I'll just bring it in my home directory. Uh, Ah, there you are, it does, it did, it went and dragged the tab that I'm currently using, ah, okay. So yeah, you can mail, you can um, do something as neat as create a, um, a lovely specific tab for whatever task you're doing and then mail it to someone. Other than that, I mean, this is a developer release, so there are um, a few things that don't quite work. Uh, for example, there's no information panel. Um, some of the services, um, you've got services here in file and services here in workspace that don't actually work. Uh, so for example, if I um, just select these and see if I can try and do a group or not, it will tell me that it's broken and that I should really log out, but no. So yeah, this is... Um, this is OpenStep 4.0 preview release 1. In the next video, I will look more detailed into um, the Apple applications that are available, um, what they look like, and um, how it, inter how it um, interoperates with other next step and OpenStep machines. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and hopefully you will watch the next one as well. Thank you very much.